Scotland. And we can get the latest now from the northeast of Scotland. Sally Magnuson is there at the Aberdeen Exhibition Centre. That is, of course, where the Gordon result is being counted, where Alex Salmond is hoping to make his Holyrood comeback. What are you hearing from that count, Sally? Well, what we're hearing is that this uh, high-risk gamble that Alex Salmond has taken in Gordon, because it's number 18 on the list of SNP target seats requiring a 7.8% swing for Alex Salmon to win. Looks as if it has gone to Alex Salmon with only 7% of votes left to be counted. It is fairly clear that Alex Salmon has won the seat. I'm joined here by Malcolm Bruce who uh, is the Westminster MP for Gordon and Nanette Milne who is the Conservative candidate here. Malcolm Bruce, Salmon's got it, hasn't he? Well, it certainly looks at the moment as if he is ahead, uh, not by a huge margin, but it doesn't look as if it's one that we can catch with what's left of the vote. Um, as far as, as we're concerned, we fought a fantastically hard campaign and had a huge amount of support. But clearly, I think Alex Salmon's national profile uh, has probably made the difference. And uh, our candidate, although very, very local, very, very committed and very, very engaged, it appears that people have gone for the national profile rather than a committed local candidate with a track record. And, I, I and guess you we did just fight to... very hard. You fought very dirty as well at some uh, point. We we certainly did not fight in any way dirty at all. We simply pointed out that a very simple fact that Alex Salmond, if he's elected, has been elected to do two different jobs in two different constituencies in two different parliaments. And however superhuman Alex Salmond is, I can say as a full-time MP, that is not possible to give the, the service to the people of those constituencies. You simply cannot be well, voting in Edinburgh and Westminster at the same he time. He said he'll resign his, his No, he uh, hasn't. Seat. He said he will resign his Westminster seat at the next general election, which could be two or three years away. And during that time, the people of Banff Buchan will be let down and the people of Gordon will be let down. But tonight, they clearly have made that decision and they will obviously uh, make a judgment when they see how it works. Nanette Milne, your Conservative vote has clearly been squeezed. Conservative voters have, have voted with their, their heads, not their hearts. That, that's, that's quite obvious. We know that there has been a, a strong campaign by the Liberal Democrats to, to get at our vote um, because clearly they were losing um, what I would think is probably the traditional anti-conservative vote, which has supported it, it, Liberal Democrats in the past, appears to have gone to the SNP. Uh, they saw this coming and uh, tried to get our vote because we know they have been phoning our members saying they would be wasting their vote if they, if they voted Conservative. And that clearly has happened and we've been squeezed at the because of what's, it. What's won Alex um, the seat in your view? probably his national profile. I mean, I, to be honest, I have not been picking up in the people I've spoken to in Gordon any real support for Alex Salmon. I've picked up far more people who would do anything to see him not get the seat. And uh, it's been a, really a bit of a mystery to me just how we're, we're coming to what appears to be tonight's result. I have to say that we've had the same thing. It, it, you, you know, he's won the seat, and if that's the case, you have to congratulate him. But it has been extraordinary. I mean, I have knocked on many, many doors. We have phoned literally tens of thousands of people, and we did not get massive support for Alex Salmond, and yet he's won the seat. So clearly a lot of people who weren't telling either the Conservatives or the Liberal Democrats what they were going to do have decided that they want to go with this. Maybe the fact that they think he might be First Minister... Uh, and is a national celebrity has won people over. And the undecideds have and made undecided. up their mind at the I mean, last minute. Let's, let's be clear, the Liberal Democrat vote in Gordon is still very high. It, isn't, it, hasn't, it hasn't fallen away. It's just that Alex Salmon has managed to gather votes uh, uh, from all the other parties enough to make the difference. Yes, some Conservatives have switched to us, but I think some Conservatives have also switched to Alex Salmon. So I think votes have gone in all directions. I, detected, I have not detected a Conservatives going to Alex Salmon. I, I've no. Judging by very, some of the farmers' very, fields, very I think few. they have, yes. But uh, perhaps, perhaps one or two, but, but really not many. But we have been targeted very firmly by the Liberal Democrats, and I think, okay. sadly for us, that's paid off. Lynette Milne and Malcolm Bruce, thank you very much. The news here from Aberdeen is that Alex Salmond has won Gordon. We think the declaration will come within the next half an hour.